Hi, this is BB. So, my uncle left for work, and I'm home, and it's like the same shit. Every time I try to close the window, it's getting a little nippy here in Ohio. So when I try to close the window, it's like all over the roof of my mouth. It's bitter, bitter, bitter. I can taste the gas. My cat's ear, the left ear, is really bothering her. This, I mean, the right ear. Even my uncle noticed it. He was the one who actually brought it to my attention. We went out a couple of days ago to take me to work, bring me back. And, uh, so, well, of course, like I said, every time I leave the house and I come back, something happens. Now, if I were to tell my uncle that I believe people are coming into his home, he's not going to believe me. This is what they want. I tell him that this motherfucker, whoever the fuck he or she is, is not going to sit there and wait for the police to go up there and check or my uncle to go up and check. When they go up, they're not going to find anything. I can smell the fucking gas. I'm not imagining this. Let's just say that I was inhaling gas for over a year from my old apartment. Like when I start saying I was inhaling gas and chlorine and kerosene and every fucking chemical known to man. Come here. Come here. Let's say that it's, it got stuck in my stomach lining or they put the graphene or something that was, that was just uh, uh, drawing the, 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 the particles. It, it, um, I don't know what would be um, moisture or any type of um, the ions. I, I don't know what it is. But smell comes in like little little particles. They come in little particles. What if something was, uh, they injected. Now they plan this whole thing. They inject it in your stomach or put it in your food. It's stuck in your stomach lining and it's just it's just holding it in there. Or, you know, injecting it in various parts of your body. Back in California, around my navel, I used to used to be itching really bad. Not inside, around. And there used to be like red, a couple of red spots. I've noticed that. Where I was scratching and scratching. Maybe it could have been an injection site. I didn't have any bugs. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't understand that. But I did tell you one morning I woke up and there was blood on my pillow. I thought it was her. I woke up one point back in my old apartment in Oklahoma, and there was a lot of blood on my pillow. I don't know how it got there. I had no open areas. They say, well, it was dried blood. I was bleeding through my ear or my mouth or my nose or even my, you know, I, there was nothing there. There was nothing. Where could this blood have come from? And it was a big smear of it. I have no idea where it came from. I believe that somebody, they, 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 they were injecting or they were pulling stuff out of my head. I don't know. When I tell you these people did a number on me and they're still doing it, I'm not kidding. I would put my hand on a Bible and swear that this everything I'm saying is to the best of my ability that I'm telling the truth. I wonder how many people have these people done this to when they got away with it. There's too many weapons, too many different modalities in their, in, in their bag of tricks here. Too many different ways of doing things. I just don't understand, though, how many people they did it to. I'm guessing they stole massively from people. Enough money like to form a little, uh, 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 like a little world power within themselves. And they're killing these people now because the people are going to start looking for the shit. And it's not just digits that they can hack in and put the, put the numbers back. Because people are going to want to know also, where the fuck do these people come from? Where suddenly they have a bunch of money. Where the fuck did they get it from? But aside from that, I mean, I'm trying to figure out what happened here. I'm 52. I'm not the best looking woman in the world. I'm not the youngest woman in the world. So if, if I was assaulted sexually, it would have to be for humiliation purposes. It would have to be for solely for the purpose of humiliating me. Either that or I'm a very, very strong empath. I, I don't know. Or just to record it, somebody recording it to make it look like I was, it was sex was consensual. Let me reassure you again, I would I swear on a stack of fucking Bibles, stack of them. I did not consent to any of this. I mean, I'm not sure if this happened or not, and I'm hoping it didn't. 
I just don't understand this. It would be solely for the purpose of humiliating me. This is the extent, the, the intelligence level of the group of people. That they would fuck with a sleeping woman, telling themselves whatever story they needed to hear while the woman is sleeping for the sole purpose of humiliating her and having a laugh amongst themselves. Something smells like cigarette smoke. The cat's going crazy. This is what I go through every fucking day. This is what I go through every day. This kerosene, this, this cigarette smoke, it smells like. It smells like cigarette smoke. It smells like uh, uh, chlorine. And she's going crazy. You see, this is not my imagine. You say you open the door and she stopped. She's still locked in. She wants to go outside. It's cold outside. Hold on. <clears throat> I don't want to see. It's not my home, so... Uh, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna get her out. I think she's safer outside than inside the house. Which is incidentally where most of us are probably gonna end up at some point. Living outdoors. Unless we just decide to go up in the fucking attics, club in hand and start clubbing them out of, just just clubbing them. But I know what's gonna happen. So, with that being said, it's like I'm trying to figure out how they're doing this. In real time, it's happening. He, my uncle is being affected by it, too. Because when I cough, he's coughing, too. He's pretending maybe he doesn't notice it, but he does. I don't press the issue. I'm trying to accumulate some money, except that the job I have is basically part-time, and it doesn't afford me enough to really get a place on my own. And I don't really want, I don't know what I want. I, these people planned this. They're blocking me from working because my work would afford me the freedom to go anywhere and do anything at any time with anyone. That's called freedom for me. Some people like a paycheck. Some people like that steady paycheck. When you're working as an entrepreneur, it might be two weeks where nobody calls me and I get no clients. That they can't live with. They get anxious. But I know, my, I know my niche. They planned this to keep me in these places where I have no control. I have not been at rest or at peace or at ease since June or April of 2020. My guess is they started this process a long time ago, but it, it amped up in 2020. Something triggered this. They, they found the Holy Grail. They, maybe the sale of the stamps. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they did. The sale of my father's house. I, I don't know what triggered this, but something happened. That triggered this whole thing. And they just, they want to maul me. But I don't think I'm the only one they, they mauled. This is, this, is, this is why they want to kill me. And sometimes I wish if they want to shoot me, why don't they just come in the fucking house and just shoot me in the head? They cannot be this. They're not cowards. I'm trying to pump them up. They're strong, suave, debonair. You know, they're killers, bounty killers. They're, 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 they're the unholy group. They're whatever. They want to snatch us out from, from, the, from the jaws of God. Like they're trying to save us. Because they want us to worship their father, which is, which is Satan or Lucifer. He's recruiting. Anything to get them to just, at this point, just do something, man. This fucking torture. This torture, oh my God. This fucking chlorine, the chlorine. I don't know what it is with this. It's a Guyanese man. It's a fucking Guyanese man. I can hear his accent. It's a Guyanese man doing this with a chlorine gas. He thinks he's God. Or he thinks he's the devil. I don't know what he thinks. Some rotten little shit. That's all he is. 
who lives in his in his head is grandiose. I don't know if he's on drugs. I don't know. Or he's just crazy. That when he gets caught, that's going to be his defense that he's crazy. They're not going to give him some sanitarium. His, he's gonna, his crazy will take him to prison. His crazy will take him to prison. He will have to get his share alike in prison. No sanitarium for that one. Or lock him up in a cage. The way he likes to lock us up in cages. Because this is where they have us locked in cages. I'm known, I don't think I'm the only one they're doing this to. I don't think right now that I'm the only one they're doing this to either. I don't think so. And he's always questioning me. Uh, what happened to my dad? I have I I didn't see my dad since 1992. I didn't see him. I found out in 2017 he died in 2008. I don't know if this is just to get me upset, or 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 what? Like um, what happened to my dad? Well, I tried to kill my dad. I must have killed him. I must have killed him so he could get all the money. So some other woman could get my inheritance. I must have killed him so somebody else could get my grandma's stamps. It's, you know, no big deal. I must have killed him so he could get my inheritance. He who have no, who has no claim on anything. I don't even know who the fuck he is. If he brown, what color, what the, what the color of his asshole is. I have no idea what, what the color this man is. So I must have killed my dad or, or uh, what is the, whatever he's insinuating. Is that's what he says. Um, so that he could steal everything with ease. My inheritance. Stuff with literally my name on it. Not to give it to me. But so he could have it. Well, I must be mentally retarded. I must be like the world's most... Mentally retarded person. I can't look at this anymore. Like I can't, I can't look at it. You see my face? You see how burned it is? It's burned. My face looks like shit. This is burn marks. It's hurting right now. Wow. Let me see. This one is ultra sensitive right here. The bone hurts. Which means it's getting blasted all the time. See that? That's burn marks. That's not sunburn. That's chemical burns. How the fuck is this happening? And I'm indoors all the time. I don't smoke. My uncle don't smoke at all. He don't smoke. He don't drink. He's a very religious man. Where the fuck is it coming from? Where's it coming from? Yeah. My throat hurts. Every day I wake up, there's an edge to my voice because I wake up and I'm dreading going to sleep because if I wake up, I don't know what the fuck, if I'm going to remember, what am I going to forget now? It's kind of like, am I going to be wake up? Am I going to wake up with my tummy swollen? Am I going to wake up groggy? Am I going to wake up uh, uh, clear, alert and oriented? Am I going to wake up? I know schizophrenia. I had a, a complete CT scan done of my head about a month ago. Nothing is wrong. No abnormalities. So it's not schizophrenia. 